There are many types of Peace Corps cribs, but we all know our favorites. So that's why today I'm gonna be giving you five tips and tricks on living in a hut and maybe one bonus, so stick around to see. What's up everyone, my name is Colt Bradley and I am a Peace Corps volunteer in Peace Corps Guinea. And today we're gonna to be talking about that hut life. So there are many different types of Peace Corps cribs, but one that is very common here in Guinea is the hut. So tip number one is keep things clean and that involves using this guy here, which is one of our little brooms. Look at all of that. you'll notice that I have uh, some shoes here that I keep by the front door. And these are like my going to town shoes. So we got like teaching shoes and running shoes and shoes to just walk around and explore in and hiking boots. So that's kind of what's here. And if we go to by the back door, now this is where I'll do all my laundry and stuff out here. Uh, that's a bathroom and a shower back there. So here's where I keep the handy dandy flip flops. So this is just kind of a, a good way to organize. And so I'm not wearing shoes through the house and tracking dust in. And these little mats kind of catch a lot of the, the dirt that I'll track in, especially back here. You get a lot of these little pebbles um, that, that catch to the feet and track in. Tip number two is use your wall space. And this is a big one. You can, the walls are kind of unique in that yeah, they're made out of bricks. You can hammer nails in to hang things and you can write on the walls with chalk and write little messages or, or calendars on it. Or you can even hang pictures on it, which is what I've done. Um, just kind of a collage to, to remind you of good times and, and travels and all that. So use your wall space. So tip number three is use the mosquito net wisely. And that might not be what you're thinking. So when you're sitting here at night, especially at night, and you hear certain things going on up there. Yeah, so when you hear that and you start getting freaked out about the bugs and stuff, there's not much you can do in here. There's always gonna be bugs. Could be lizards, it could be mice, it could be anything. They come in from outside. Nothing you can really do, but the one thing you can do is hide. And so that's what this mosquito net's for. If you go under and then tuck it in right here, it's kind of like back when your parents used to tell you that the monsters can't get you under the covers. Voila, so it's the same thing. Under here, if you touch it, tuck it in nice and nice, nice and good, the cockroaches can't get you, the mice can't get you, nothing can get you. And as a bonus little tip, you're also safe from malaria. So definitely sleep under one of these guys. Definitely PCMO approved and recommended. Tip number four is trash can be useful. So, you, I mean, just by living, just by using things, we have a lot of trash here. One of the big ones is sachets. And sachets are really nice because you can cut off the top and use them to plant seeds or there's ways to make like soccer nets with them and you can use them that way. That's one like community level thing. But even like here, I have ketchup and now I use an empty ketchup bottle to put my salt in and kind of spray it on my, uh, on my meals. Even like these empty uh, tomato paste cans. I put the garlic in there and different spices in there. So little pieces of paper, especially anything flammable that I've like written notes on or these tea bags when I put tea in. I use anything flammable to light my charbon in the morning when I'm making uh, breakfast or lunch or dinner. So the trash can be really useful. And if you don't use it, it just kind of gets thrown outside. So if you can use it, do it. Um, and you, you can be creative and use it a lot of different ways. So if you can use them and you're creative, then do it. If not, if there's really no way to use it, like if your deodorant's done and you have nowhere to put it, you can always throw it down the pit latrine. So that's the best way to handle that. Tip number five involves lighting. So what I mean with this whole light thing is if you look back here and see this one light, it's kind of kind of dismal, kind of dark in here. So the first thing we should do is add more of these kind of normal lights. So let's do that real quick. 
So now you see we've already uh, lightened things up quite a bit. It looks a lot better. We got more light bouncing around. Now we have three lights in total, um, but we're not ready yet. We're not done yet. First, we gotta we gotta add kind of some other little lights here. We got the Lucy lights, which are great. Now these things, now these things are great. These are have solar panels and they light up like this. So let's let's put a few around. We'll just throw them, we'll put them around. All right. So now we have the Lucy lights back. Um, what else can we add? Maybe we could add some battery-operated Christmas lights. So now we're looking pretty good. What's the last thing we can do? We might be able to add, <laughs> if we're feeling like kind of pyromaniacs, we could always add some candles. So, okay, so the candles might be a bit much, but if you're either getting those seance vibes or if you don't have electricity, that's kind of what you got. But look, this room looks a lot better already. So if you just light it up, these are all, well, especially the candles you can find here, the Lucy lights, a lot of volunteers have them. The Christmas lights you can usually find in the big cities, honestly. So most people have these things and it really makes a big difference in your hut if you kind of light it up like this and, and make it feel like more of a home. So um, yeah, definitely a good suggestion. Oh. <laughs> See, it's important to have your friends around to keep you company. So that's what the last tip is. Make sure you always leave your door open to, uh, so that when people come, they can come in and, and chat and help you pass the time. Yeah. <laughs> So those are our five tips plus one bonus on how to live in a hut. Um, tips and tricks for living in a hut. So if you do live in a hut, I hope that might have been helpful. Um, if you don't live in a hut though, um, I hope that gave you kind of a glimpse into what kind of the day to day in the hut life looks like. So this channel is going to be weekly videos kind of like this. Um, just showing what life is like uh, here in Peace Corps Guinea. So, um, definitely leave a comment and let me know if if you have any tips for living in a hut or what you found interesting um definitely give this a video a like and subscribe if you want to to keep seeing videos kind of like this so thanks for tuning in all right so tip number three is what, what was tip i don't remember tip number three